you can manifest whatever you want, but you have the consequences of those things are there always. You have to go through all the consequences. People just want to manifest, but they don't know the consequences. Hitler wanted a world war, so almost the world war came and many, many people got killed, millions of them. But then the intentions of the whole world are respected and the world war ended and Hitler killed, got killed himself. It's not the question of manifestation, it's the question of consequences. We have to think of the consequences. Okay, I got a lot of, I want a lot of money. Okay, man, money will be manifested, but what are you going to do with the money? How are you going to handle the money? The moment you have a lot of money, somebody will come and kill you and get that money. The consequence is that you, will, you are getting killed. You don't see that, that consequence. For me, the word consequence is more important than manifestation. What are the consequences of those things which you want to manifest? That is the topic. You build a big pyramid. You want to manifest. Okay, people will come. Then how are you going to feed them? How are you going to treat them? Can you manage all the people who are going to come to you? How are you going to manage them? You want to marriage, but what are the kind of consequences of marriage? Children will happen. Are you ready to raise all the children? Yes, I want to get married. That's very fine. So you get married, you get some partner. But what are the consequences? A lifelong relationship exists and if you are not able to carry it properly, then you have to face all the consequences. Love karma gives you a clear picture of consequences. So, my dear friends, before you think of manifestation, you must think of consequences. The results of your actions that are going to happen. Very big list of results that are going to happen. You can manifest whatever you want to manifest. The nature will help you. All the gods will help you. Because you are a god and your intention is the intention of a god. Everybody, the whole universe will, will conspire to see to it that it is manifested. In accordance with everybody else's intention also. You are not the only person intending something. Everybody has got free will. Everybody is intending something or other. There is a big traffic of intentions. And somebody wants to go this way, somebody wants to go the other way. And all intentions are respected by the nature. You are not the only VIP here. Everybody is VIP in the scheme of things. Everybody's intention is important and everybody has to face the consequences. Yudhishthira wants to play the game of dice. You think that you are an expert in the game of dice, but somebody else is greater expert than, expert than you. So you are defeated. So you are sent to a forest for 12 years. That is the consequence. So, because you played dice, because you lost, you are sent to 20 years forest.
you have to face, face all the consequences. That is the name of the game. Manifestation is very fine, but how about consequences? We should be really brave to follow through all the consequences. These are some of the principles, but when it comes to a given example, we can deal with examples. Buddha has given us the eightfold path, right views, right speech, right intentions, right desires, right way of living, right way of concentration, attention, right way of meditation. All these eight points have been Ashtanga Marga given by Buddha to help you to choose right desires, to choose right intentions. So that the consequences will be right. This is where Buddha comes with the Baba. And that's what we are all following Buddha. Buddha's four noble truths and the eightfold path gives the whole map, road map for every person. So what kind of things do you have to manifest? How can you manifest? And what are the consequences? Everything has been mapped out by Buddha. And we are following the Buddha. PSSM is following the Buddha. To the best of its abilities. So what is the eightfold path? Right views. Samma ditti. And right decisions. Samma sankalpo. Right action. Samma kamma. So, my dear friends, Buddha has given us everything, the road map. Of the consequences and how to avert unwanted consequences. 